So as all of you have requested, we're back with more YouTube videos now. We're gonna be making one every day. For today, we're gonna be having a look how to make Pop-Tarts. Let's try these again, because I haven't had them in a while and see what they're actually like. Um, the branded version, as opposed to the ones we're making ourselves. They do sell these at Tesco, surprisingly. I think these are produced in America. Is that, or Kellogg's, maybe they produce these ones in the UK. So one of these are different to the American ones. So there is our Pop-Tarts. Let's give it a little toasterino. So while these are cooking, I'm just gonna talk you through what we're doing today. Obviously we need to make a dough for the actual pop bit, I guess, of our pop tart. Um, and then we need to make a jam and have icing on top of that. So there's a few things we're gonna cover, um, which should be quite interesting. I've never done this before. I've seen there's a few people who've already covered this topic, so it should be quite interesting to see how ours turn out compared to theirs. Are these done yet? Oh man, I'm so impatient. I don't wanna wait. So it's strawberry filling on the inside as well. So the first thing we can get started on is actually making our dough. So let's get on with that now. Right, so obviously the first thing we need to do is measure out some flour. So we're gonna do that now. Measure out about two cups of flour. That's about 20 Hot Wheels cars worth of flour. We also just want to measure out some butter here. It has to be from the fridge, so make sure you keep it at a good temperature. If our butter gets too warm, it will actually stop our recipe from working. FYI, uh, and you wanna cut it into cubes. Relatively small cubes as well. Look, when a recipe tells you to do something, you don't argue with it. We're just setting up the food processor, you guessed it, to process some food. Let's pour the flour into there first. And we also just want a pinch of salt or a pincheroni. Pincheroni is a slightly different measurement to a pinch. And another pincheroni of sugar. So let's get some of our butter in. Just put a few nobulates. How much do you add in the first go? Look pretty tasty, I mean that looks tasty. Don't you want to eat one? I take that back. So also at this point we want to add four table spoons of water. There's one, two, three, quatre. Right, what we need to do now is take our dough out and just put it onto a clean surface like we've got here. And you basically want to split it into two portions. Getting a bit melty, we're gonna have to get this in the fridge quite quickly. Resist the temptation to eat the raw dough as well. Right, and you just wanna split it into two portions. Obviously a top half and a bottom half of our things later on. Roll these out. This is like, remember that TV show 24? That was a long time ago. The guy had like 24, constantly had, I don't know why he kept only having 24 hours to do stuff. For, for someone who only had 24 hours, they did seem to get a lot of seasons out of it. Put this into some plastic wrap, because that's what it says on the resp. So we'll get this into the fridge and we'll make our jam while we wait for that to chill for an hour. Desk cleaning, sponsored by Tesco's antibacterial wipes. Not. So for our strawberry jam filling, again, you're gonna be very surprised by this. We need to start off with strawberries. So we'll just cut the tops of our strawberries here. This jam recipe is very simple as well. If you wanted to make this yourself, you should try it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a live stream later as well. So make sure you join. I might do a dinner live stream. Honestly, I feel like I've been wanting to do these longer videos for a while, so it's kind of the timing works out well. And I've gotten, I've gotten better at speaking to the camera, I feel. What do you think? Rate my speaking to the camera out of 10. A lot of cooking stuff we have on this account now, uh, but we're also gonna be doing some making stuff. We'll have all the usual bits and bobs. Honestly, don't know what the difference between jam sugar is and normal sugar. So if you know, let me know in the comments. But we've got to add the same amount of sugar to the amount of strawberries we've got there. So I would say we've probably got about 300 grams of strawberries at this point. So let's add 10 Hot Wheels cars worth of sugar. I hope there's no jam traditionalist here because this is certainly not a traditional jam. Obviously we need to mush our strawbs up now. Should have done that before, because now I've got all the sugar in the way, but mush them up anyway. Just don't be afraid, you know. Live your life, do what you want. Mush your strawberries up after you add the sugar, who cares? So squeeze in some lemon juice. I don't think it's too much. I think it's like a, a tablespoon, so probably about that much is good. Get this onto boil very slowly, and while we heat this up, you just stir it with a wooden spoon. Uh, and lucky for you, you're not gonna have to sit here for 10 minutes and watch this basically paint dry. Right, so we've got a beautiful jam here. Let's just pour it into our jar. It's very hot, so be careful. We're about to start rolling out our dough to actually make our Pop-Tarts. So we've just got to flour the surface here before we roll it out. We want to work quite quickly because we don't want this to heat up too much. You kind of just want to roll it out. Not too thin, but obviously thin enough that it's Pop-Tart-esque. Mm, there's two. So we've got four there. Okay, good. Let's get our baking sheet wherever I put that over here. Right, so we've got to be quite careful how we get these on because it's so soft at the minute. But let's see if we can lift this up at all. There's one. So jam is just about set. Let's get a little bit on each one. So put a teaspoon's worth there and sort of just spread it out. But we want to leave enough room on the edges, obviously. 
Now we just need to place the covers on top of these. So we'll try and match that up as best we can. These aren't gonna be perfect, let's just put it that way, but we're not here to do perfect, we're here to do tasty. So let's crimp the edges now. Make sure you don't forget to poke four holes into the Pop-Tart to let steam come out so it doesn't open up. And now we're gonna pop these into the oven, they're freezing cold. We all know I get super snacky when I'm cooking stuff, so while we wait for the oven to be done, let's try these uh, blue jammy dodgers I got from Tesco's. Mmm. Kinda weird. Tastes very similar to the strawberry ones. I guess just more blueberry. <laughs> very dry. <coughs> Yeah, I'll give these a solid six out of 10. Right, for our icing, what we've got to do now is uh, measure out about a cup of this royal icing here. So let's try and gauge that. So very slowly, we'll add some milk in bit by bit. So I'll add two drops of that to start with. I used, uh, I ran out of normal milk, so we only had oat milk here. So I hope that works normally. It does have a slightly strange color. We've got two Pop-Tarts here. Now they are still a bit warm for icing, but we are running out of time. So we shall move forward anyway, irregardless of what the recipe might say at this point. Okay, and then obviously we want to get some sprinkles on there. So we've got these unicorn confetti. That's quite nice. A bit fancy. We'll get some on. I'll just let these finish cooling down and then we'll compare them with the originals. Right, there's a homemade one and this is the original. Let's try it and see how it compares. So I'm quite excited for this. Mmm, that is super nice. Look at that. As far as my rating goes for the homemade version, it's got to be like an 8 out of 10. That is seriously good stuff. Obviously to the original it differs slightly, but that recipe was pretty class to be honest. I enjoyed that quite a lot. I'm going to be trying to post here every single day at 6pm, so make sure to tune in to never miss it. And subscribe if you want to see all the cool stuff. We've got loads planned and there's loads coming. Comment what we should try next. Very cool. Yum yum.